What's up everybody? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to do something kind of special. Kind of special. Yes. Today we are finally going to answer your questions. So. I'm excited. You ready? Jamie, are you ready? I am ready. So a little while back we put out a survey. Is that, is that what it is? Is it a survey on Instagram? I guess. What, what are these kids called these days? <laughs> We ask you guys to ask us questions, and here we are. We're ready to answer. Yes, we are going to answer all of the questions. All thousands. All right. Of thousands. I, no, we don't have quite enough time. So for that. you're going to pick a question. Do I get to go first? And I'm going to pick a question. So maybe I'll have to be in your favor. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. So I'm going to kick it off. Uh, one of our assistant producers, Lolo.Lane, on our season of Married at First Sight. She was assigned to us. Sorry. Um, she asked, what is your favorite part of maths? Oh, that's my favorite part is definitely turning the corner and seeing you. Oh. Uh, that was the coolest part because, like, your whole entire, like, two weeks or whatever is hyped up to that very second and then you know once that second pass like all of these bricks come off of you and then you can judge there's no experience in the world i don't think you can pay for something like that uh -uh. Like, they tell you all right in two weeks you're getting married and all you think about every second of those next two weeks is holy who's coming down the aisle yeah no really you do or, or in you, your, you're your case around, who's gonna be at the end of the aisle like you're looking around you're like could that be my person oh my god what if i'm standing next to this person oh like, i right did that now? yeah walking down the street i'm like i wonder if it's her i wonder if it's her no and you hold you were walking by my building every single day <laughs> who knew all right bath you'll love this one mm -mm. what is life like without cameras now Oh, that's fun. Life is amazing. I loved, I don't know. I kind of loved the cameras after a hot minute. I thought it was fun. I just, honestly, I just was like, what kind of fun stuff can we do on this camera right now? Um, I feel the same way. I really liked our production team. Like We had fun. Purple team for life. Purple team. We were the purple team. So I look forward to them coming over. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like your friends are coming to hang out. Pretty much. Except, except your friends strap microphones on you and film every move you make. <laughs> and some and of then tell you what to talk about, too. No, yeah, they don't. No, they don't face to that. I'll cut that out. Yeah. Um, I, I once, you know, since it was my question, <laughs> um, I'll answer my question again. I liked being in front of the cameras and it was really fun. I loved being weird in front of the cameras and even off camera. I'm the same person. Actually, I'm just as weird. I just really enjoyed showing people like it felt good once I started getting the reactions that I wasn't the only weirdo out there. There's like a lot of us out there and it just felt good to finally like hear that. And there's a lot more of us where it came from. And Jamie's actually fun to film on camera with most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> ditto, but, ditto, sweetie. Ditto. Yeah. And why did we stay together after so many arguments? That's an intense question. Shit. That's a very deep question. I know. I had to do it. I can answer that. I mean, we're both passionate people. We both are like very driven and we both are type A, got to be right, got to be first, got to be fastest, whatever type people. And we just butted heads a lot. And I think for us, like we always knew like we had a connection. We always loved each other. There was no point during the entire experiment that I was like, I don't see this working out. It was just always like, it was never a question of like if, but how sometimes. Yeah, we never like, it never was an, like we never considered like separating or anything. It just so, it sounded weird, but we knew we wanted it to work. Yeah. I knew that. And I knew there was something that intrigued me about Jamie. So I have to like stick around for that. And I got to see what it's about. And the situation we were in was really crazy. And so... I just wanted to see what it was about, not when it was crazy, which never really happened because it's always crazy now. It's always crazy. I've learned that that is just our life now. All right. Full and wider. Wider. Yes. Full and wider would like to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, all right, girl. I feel you. I got you. What tools do you all use to continue a happy marriage? Counseling? Books? Techniques? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a good one. I like That's that That's a good one. Good question. So Jamie and I are always constantly trying to, you know, make our marriage as strong as possible. So we definitely do 
I, I am not, um, I don't, I don't care. I think going to a therapist is super healthy and a luxury. Yeah, definitely. And so Jamie and I actually take advantage of couples therapy. We've started going since the show and I'm not afraid to say that we don't know each other. And I think actually at the beginning of a relationship is when you should go to couples therapy because that's how you learn how to speak each other's language. And until you learn how to speak each other's language, shit's not going to work. So yeah, ironically, we went to premarital counseling after being married for two months. But I know, but I mean, everybody's really shocked right now. I'm sure. Yeah, like, oh, we're <laughs> shocker. But no, I, I mean, don't think that you're no one's above therapy. You don't think you're too good for it or you shouldn't change or something because you should. I'll tell you something else. If somebody else tries to make you feel like less than for going to therapy or coaching or anything like that. Go away like, from them. Yeah. Don't listen to that. No, like, just like, don't be friends with people like that. There's no shame in that. No. Every, everybody can use like a, a set of ears. Even... Or, a set of eyes to help you see things you can't see. Uh-uh. Even the most successful people have life coaches. Oh, yeah, for stuff. sure. Like, yeah. Duh. All right. So Sweet Baby Sky wants to know, what do you all do to keep the marriage spicy? Oh, why do you prove this to me? Because you love answering this question. <laughs> I get so shy. <laughs> Jamie is definitely spice things up in the bed. He... Did I graduate from some basic Caucasian? He has graduated basic Caucasian sex. I'm advanced Caucasian. And we have moved on to normal, better than normal, fun toys, sex shop, mm. weird, candle lighting, all sorts of things now. I can't, I don't want to get graphic. I got to like... Girl. I got to like keep the privacy there, you know? I got to keep my... My, my sex is live, but at the end of the day, it's not basic Caucasian sex. And therefore, I am going to wrap it back around. What is basic Caucasian sex? I don't know. You use the term. I get what basic Caucasian sex is. I get it. Like, no, like, romance, no foreplay, no preheating the oven, if you follow. Um, yes. No, bam, bam, done. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yes. Basic Caucasian sex is like, Shirt on, Ooh. lights off, Ooh. maybe your socks are still on. Socks? Yeah. That's pushing it. Yeah, like white tube socks at that, that were like needed to be thrown out like three washes ago. Ooh. Yeah, that's basic Caucasian sex. Eesh. And then they hurry up and get dressed again, and it's just awful. And it's just like they don't even care if you finish or anything. They're just like if they got it or something. So that's basic Caucasian sex. We're, I mean, no, no motion in the ocean, just very, very vanilla. I can't get any more bland about that. You guys know what I'm talking about. You, you know laugh. what I'm saying. If you laughed, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. OG Snow White. I don't know. I just really like that handle, so I want to read this question. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> the OG son. I was rooting for you two. Right on. This is why I'm reading this. Um, do you feel communication has improved since the show? Um, I would say after the experiment, communication has definitely gotten better. It's still something we're working on for sure. And we're trying to, we're trying to keep improving. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, always going to be improving. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're training ourselves. We're, I don't know. We're both like kind of just single happy go lucky people and used to doing our own thing. So now we got to learn to talk to each other and <laughs> Learn how to say things that don't offend your partner or... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, Jen Jen Sutton asks, who cooks and who buys groceries? That's a very interesting question. I know, right? I mean, it's very like everyday well, life. I actually... Look, can I go... I'm just going to answer this very honestly. Right, I cook what you got? during the week. Jamie and I... I like to say I cook a lot more girlier... So I cook more during the week. Chick food. Yeah. And they're like, it's like just more lighter meals. But yeah. man, when Jamie goes in there, oh, his food's so good. So he has to cook only like two days a week. <laughs> this is just my, so good. My stuff's not bad. It's just But not... we kind of like just mesh together. the girls. I don't know. We just take turns or however. Yeah, we take turns. Um, I think eventually we'll join bank accounts and it won't really matter, I guess, at that point. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, true. So I mean, we just kind of split it. Jamie always takes me on dates, though. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> he does. So why did we move to California? That's a really, that's a question everybody wants that's to know. That's an excellent question. Yes. Um, okay, I'll answer. Can I? You can take that one. You know what? You answer it. This is like, I love hearing why we moved to California. Why we moved to California. You. Yeah, you're my, like, I loved listening to this. So why we moved to California is 
we wanted new experiences. Uh, that was one thing we have in common. We love each other and we love new experiences and we love doing new things. And we both knew we liked the West Coast. We'd been out here a few different times on our own before meeting each other and then a few times with each other. And that made us want to come. We liked it. So I we, just remember sitting in San Diego with you and I was yeah. like, we let's just we have to come we have to move here like there's just not even a question when we were filming our unfiltered shows we were in la like, i'd still like to move to san diego i love san diego i want to like that's kind of where i come anyway I'm so that's why we're in norcal is because <laughs> i work in tech and this is like tech mecca up here so figure what the hell i am like a fish out of water <laughs> not really but where it's we live bad. it's kind of like i don't know what to do do you like living in the Bay Area? Do I like living in the Bay Area? You know, I have mixed emotions. Like, California is cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff close by. Like, we are less than two hours from wine country. We're 30, 45 minutes from the coast. Um, we can go into the city. We're a train right into the city. So, a lot of that kind of stuff is really cool. From, like, exploring and seeing new stuff. But... I'll be honest, the cost of living it sucks. Like what you get for what you pay for here is just crazy. I mean, yeah. even Charlotte, even Charlotte, like where we came from was getting to be what I would have felt like more expensive than it should be, but it, it didn't even touch this. No. Oh God, no. It's like three times the rent in Charlotte. Oh yeah. And three. so, but that's okay. It's a cool experience. I'm loving it. I think it's cool. It's a great experience for now. I think like we want My more. biggest struggle is making friends. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all, so used to like being all, all these all these nerd dudes out here. I have no idea what anybody's talking about. Can't relate, but I am so used to living in a square on in Charlotte, you know, like in the uptown. And so all of my friends lived on the corner. Like we were just super easy to access. We could walks away and stuff. So so easy to meet up. And I'd lived there for a while and here you just you just gotta, you know, make sure no one I don't know, it's just a lot of people and it's just really scary sometimes. I'll be very honest. I get scared. Like I have social anxiety, so like I'm used to just knowing people around me and now I have to do that all over again. And um like social anxiety, you know, that's all I have to say. <laughs> like I hate oh God, Jamie, bless his heart. He'll like try to get me to go into like large settings and stuff. I'm like Jamie, what is your astrology sign? What is my astrology sign? Yes. I'm a cuspy. The Charlie Orange Show wants to know. I'm a cuspy. I fall right on the cusp of Scorpio season and Sagittarius nonsense. Oh, wow. I don't know what that means. I kind of got some ideas from some of the weird chicks that I've known, but... I actually am a Pisces. I'm a Pisces in a full moon rising. Is it, is it a fish? It's a fish, yes, because you always freak me out and I just swim away. But <laughs> fishes, no, the Pisces he's, are super She's big. easily scared away. I can attest to that. No, Pisces are like really big dreamers and just very emotional creatures. And you can't, you hold their feelings so fast. Very fragile. They are fragile. And once you like break their trust, they do not fuck with you. Yeah, we know. Yeah. So basically, yeah. But honestly, though, I like to say that a Pisces and a Scorpio go really well together. It's a good match. It is a great match. This person asked, were you expecting to stay together after maths? Maths. It sounds like a weird word to say, maths, maths. which stands for it's an acronym for Married at First Sight. But she also says, P.S., I love you both. So thank Aww, you. Oh, thank you. We love you, I think. I hope. She supports us. We love her. We love her. All right. So the question is, is prior to meeting each other, were we expecting to last after the maths, the Married at First Sight experience was over? I don't know. I think I'm such a free spirit, honestly, that I was just like, if the universe brings us there, the universe brings us there. And if not, well, I'm sure I'm going to learn some really cool shit and meet some really cool people. So, I mean, that's kind of how I approached it. I really did. That's kind of how I felt. I felt like that I was in the right place at the right time. And us, both of us were approached by producers out of Hollywood. So... It wasn't like it was something we were seeking out, but it seemed to like make sense when it came into my it was life. It's just the universe, yeah. man. That's universe. all I'm gonna say. I was I just think that our ships were sailing the same way. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and answer the million dollar question. Uh oh. From Bellarina Noor. 
New, I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I hope I said that right. Sorry, I just thought it sounded cool. Do you guys, all right, do y'all still feel the same about children? Ooh. Yeah, I got a lot of those too. Um, I've been kind of avoiding that one, but we'll, okay. we'll tackle it. We'll go after it. Let's People go. Want to know. So, whenever we were going through auditions and interviews, uh, we both said the textbook answer, like, yeah, two to three kids in like two to three years. <laughs> and. It's one thing to like answer that hypothetically about some like mystery person you may or may not get matched up with, but it's another thing when that person is sitting right there in front of your face and they're like, Okay, when are you two guys having kids? And when it's like, Oh no, I don't even know this Whoa, person hold yet. Hold up. Oh, I don't, I don't even know his credit score. Hold up. Yeah, seriously. I didn't I didn't know anything about you. Uh uh-uh, I don't even know what he did at that point. I didn't even was... have his number. We didn't get each other's number until what, like had to have been three or four days after no, was it the next day? It was the wedding night, guys. Just, just I didn't get just, your number the wedding night. You sure did. Really? Barbara yeah. sent it to us both. We're sitting there five days into knowing each other on the honeymoon, literally just married. And I mean, it's like in your face, like, so when are you guys going to have kids, you got to talk about that. And we're like, oh my God. So I don't know. It's kind of a relief for both of us that we both were like, no. Nah. I don't think I want kids. But I think the more and more people ask us this question now, the more and more the truth comes out about how we really felt at the time. Yeah. I mean, we weren't sure of each other. Well, yeah, we were very unsure. And it wasn't even because of like you or anything. I just didn't know you I'm yet. I'm not going to lie. I was a little biased too. Yeah. I just feeling myself that night. Anyways. Um, yeah. So now we know we want to have a kid. Mostly. Maybe, Maybe, probably, yeah. definitely. Like 90%. 90% sure we want to have a kid. I, I don't know. Once you start to like know a person and... You're like, I'll create a human I'll with you. I'll procreate with you. You'll grow fit. a human. <laughs> so that's where we are. <laughs> All right. So next question. The infamous Dr. Viviana. Uh, she really asked a question? She did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She wants to know, what are we doing for our one year anniversary? And for context... That is in what three weeks? Yes. Um, what are we doing, babe? <laughs> I don't know. What are we doing, Jamie? <laughs> Unless you have the answer, I don't know. <laughs> what do we want to do? We want to go on a trip. I don't see it happening. <laughs> we keep procrastinating. We're about procrastinators. Um, so hopefully Jamie's got like a trip up his sleeve. Maybe I think that's what he was going to do is surprise me right now on camera. No. Okay. No. That really sucks. No, All right. Sorry. That's a face of disappointment. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hopefully we're having basic Caucasian sex on our one year anniversary. <laughs> okay. So funny. I know. With that being said, Jamie, thank you so much. For playing answer the question with me. Yes, this has been fun. We'll have to do this again. I'm totally down to do it again. So maybe next time we'll do something like really fun with it. I don't know. Anyways. We'll see. I love you. Love we you, love babe. you guys. Thanks for watching Mavs. Keep watching. It's still really good. And thanks for tuning in to sit through our question and answers. The Beth and Jamie show. Yes. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.